In the vast expanse of the North Atlantic, an island emerges, rugged, stark, yet stunningly beautiful. This is Iceland, a land of fire and ice, of ancient sagas and modern wonders. Today we journey through time, exploring the evolution of religion on this isolated outpost of humanity. In the beginning, there were the old gods. The early settlers of Iceland, arriving in the 9th century from the shores of Scandinavia, brought with them the pantheon of Norse deities, Odin, Thor, Freya. These were the figures that shaped their world, imbuing the landscape with divine significance. They built hofs, places of worship, where they would offer sacrifices and celebrate their gods. The dawn of the 11th century saw a monumental shift. A religious realignment was taking place across Europe and Iceland was no exception. The year 1000 marked the official adoption of Christianity, a decision born more out of political necessity than spiritual revelation. But the old beliefs were not forgotten. They lived on in stories, in customs, in the hearts of the people. The Protestant Reformation of the 16th century was another turning point. Lutheranism became the state religion, and the Catholic monasteries that dotted the landscape fell into disuse. The Lutheran Church of Iceland remains the national church to this day. Its simple, austere churches represent a faith that values humility and community. In recent decades, Iceland has seen a resurgence of the old ways. The Asatruafalagid, or the Icelandic Asatru Association, has grown in popularity, reviving the worship of the old Norse gods. Iceland's modern pagan movement coexists peacefully with Christianity. This is a testament to Iceland's spirit of tolerance and openness. As we journey through the rugged landscapes of Iceland amidst the stark beauty, you'll find an unexpected burst of color. Small churches painted in vibrant hues, each with its own unique charm. Often isolated, these churches stand tall against the vast, often harsh landscapes, acting as beacons of faith, hope, and community. These churches, often the hub of the local community, host various events from Sunday services to weddings and christenings. They're much more than just religious buildings. They are the heart and soul of their communities, bringing people together in times of celebration and solace. The stark contrast between the vibrant colors of the churches and the surrounding landscapes is symbolic of the resilience and vibrancy of the Icelandic people. Despite facing the harsh realities of nature, their faith remains as vivid as the colors that adorn their places of worship. What a journey it has been, from the hofs of the old Norse gods to the austere Lutheran churches, from the resurgence of paganism to the coexistence of old and new. Iceland's religious history is as rich and varied as its landscape, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. So, as we conclude our journey, we hope you've enjoyed this voyage through time, exploring the evolution of religion in Iceland. If you're eager to learn more about this fascinating island, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. From ancient sagas to modern wonders, there's so much more to discover. Until next time, farewell.